Hi, it's Heather from Thicket Works. Today I want to share these lovely antique organ stop necklaces made possible by the generosity of my friend Amy Lawrence who runs the Swanky Seahorse. The Swanky Seahorse is an online vintage item store and she sent me these glorious antique organ stops quite some time ago. I've been waiting for just the right moment to put them to use. Thank you so much, Amy. Please check out The Swanky Seahorse on Instagram and at Amy's website. I've created a free downloadable printable so that you can make use of these glorious antique images too. There's a link in the description. In this video, I'll show you how to turn those printables into lovely vintage style necklaces a perfect gift for any discerning women on your list. Despite the elegance of the final product, we're going to be using some very basic materials like sticky backed craft foam in the two millimeter depth. Also, gold tinted foil created for the food industry. I've trimmed down this piece of sticky backed foam so that it's just the right size to accept a full sheet of the gold foil. And then I'm carefully, but as you can see with some errors, pressing the foil against the adhesive. It's all right if you have wrinkles. It won't make any difference to the final product. Use a brayer to straighten out all those wrinkles to the best of your ability, and then use an old decoupage trick to pierce any air bubbles that might remain. Cut the sheet of foiled foam into pieces so that it's possible to use your favorite embossing folder to create a beautiful metallic design. Next, use this thick material one inch circle punch in order to pop out a whole series of these foiled coin shapes. Punch out an equal number of one inch circles from plain black adhesive back craft foam. Use the same one inch circle punch to cut out as many of the antique organ stop graphics as required for your project. I'm using a very lightweight photo paper for my printable. Sometimes it needs a little help to get the disc out of the cutter. And then once everything has been cut, I'm making sure to eliminate any white space around the edges of each of the organ stop graphics. I'm always on the lookout for cost-effective and quirky alternatives, and this project is no exception. At less than 50 cents each, these empty makeup pans were an interesting option for the bezels. Now, to make certain that the glass cabochons we'll be using will seat properly within these bezels, I'm gluing in that adhesive backed black craft foam as a bottom layer, and then using a dot of glossy accents to add each of the organ stop graphics on top of the foam. That fills up a great deal of the cavity and makes it possible for the cabochons to sit in a natural way within these little discs. This will be our final destination for this project, but to get there we've got to do a few processes. To turn these empty little pans into actual bezels, we have to be able to add a way for them to be hung. So I'm experimenting with using paper clips embedded in the back of this craft foam using heat and pressure. That leaves an exposed edge of the paper clip at either the top alone or if you use a longer clip you can have an exposed loop at the top and the bottom so that you can dangle things from the bottom edge. I love that. Once the pieces have dried I want to gussy up this surface by adding another layer of color and I've chosen to use the Blackberry Art Alchemy acrylic paint for this. I love the color. It's a rich sort of plum brown and it plays very nicely with the antique brass tones of much of the findings that I'll be using. 
I find that pouncing it onto a slick surface like this results in a really cool vintage time-worn appearance. Make sure you also coat the exposed edges of the paper clips. And once they've dried, we can add the actual glass cabochons on top of the graphics. Again, I'm using glossy accents and applying it directly on top of the graphics themselves. And then just slipping the cabochon over the top and pressing it firmly into place. I love the way that that rounded cabochon enhances the graphics underneath. Once the adhesive is set up, it's time for the really fun part, and that's adding a layer of German glass glitter in the color gold around the perimeter of each of the bezels. I find that using one of these micro brushes is a great way to apply just the right amount of tacky glue to get good coverage on a delicate piece like this. And using a pair of locking hemostats makes it super easy to pick up and manipulate each one of these pendants. The chunkiness and the vintage vibe from this German glass glitter is just gorgeous. And to hold it all in place, I'm adding a thick layer of triple thick Varathane spray coating on the front and when that dries also on the back. Make sure you have adequate ventilation. I allowed the pieces to cure overnight and it's amazing how well the triple thick spray encloses the glass glitter. Softening the edges just slightly but without losing any of that chunky definition. Now all that's left to do is to combine these elegant organ stop pendants in ways that make your heart sing. It was so fun designing different necklace arrangements for these beautiful pieces. I think one of my favorites is the use of this wooden shipping tag that's been embossed with a beautiful flourish and then a length of chain with two of the ornaments have been glued directly onto the surface. There are so many different possibilities. Playing with your stash of jewelry findings is always a great way to spend an afternoon and when it results in pieces that have this much vintage charm, it's totally satisfying. Thank you again, Amy. Your generosity made it possible to share these beautiful antique organ stop images. Finding a way to use unconventional materials to turn these into lovely vintage necklaces has been a real joy. I hope that these techniques are useful to you in some way. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Until next time, bye.